In this video, I will discuss the major groups of raptors that you might see while hawk watching in the eastern USA. When identifying a raptor, we can first classify it to one of these groups before identifying it to species. Looking at the four groups on the screen, we can begin to notice differences such as the overall shape, the length of the tail, whether the wings are pointed or rounded, and overall coloration. Now let's take a look at each group one by one. We'll begin with the Budios. Budio is the name of the genus. For example, the scientific name of the red-tailed hawk is Budio jamaicensis. The red-shouldered hawk is Budio lineatus, and so on. Budios have that classic hawk shape. This shape is often the reference that other species are compared to, so you should learn it well. Budios have broad wings and medium-length tails. Most Budios have rounded wingtips. They are often seen soaring on thermals. Some Budios, such as broad-winged hawks, migrate in large groups. Next, let's take a look at the Exhibitors. Again, Exhibitor is the genus name. Our three Exhibitor species vary greatly in size, from the small sharp-shinned hawk, to the crow-sized Cooper's hawk, to the large and powerful northern goshawk. All three species have long wings and long tails, giving them the appearance of a flying cross. Their tails give them maneuverability when chasing prey, such as songbirds, through forested areas or into the bushes near your bird feeders. Exhibitors tend to flap more than Budios. They are known for the rhythm flap, 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 glide, flap, 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 glide. Falcons have pointed wings that they frequently flap for bursts of speed. The American kestrel is small and light-colored with a more relaxed flight. The merlin is small and dark and flies with purpose and attitude. Peregrine falcons are large and powerful and are the fastest animal on the planet when in a stoop. To identify a falcon, look for that combination of pointed wings and steady flapping. Eagles are large, dark raptors. Our two species, bald eagle and golden eagle, can both have wingspans of over 7 feet, making them our largest raptors. From a distance, they are most easily confused with vultures. However, eagles have larger heads and are steady in flight even in strong wind. Bald eagles hold their wings flat, whereas golden eagles fly with a slight dihedral, or V-shape, to the wings. Vultures are also large and dark, but have small heads. Turkey vultures are lanky and hold their wings in a strong dihedral. They are very unsteady and wobble as they fly. Black vultures have a compact shape with a very short tail and white only at the wingtips. Vultures often congregate in groups. We have a few final raptors that don't fit into the other categories. The osprey is a large and lanky raptor associated with water. Note the long wings that often have a crook to them, as well as the overall black and white pattern. The northern harrier is a medium-sized hawk associated with grasslands and marshes. When hunting, they stay low and show a distinctive white rump. When overhead, look for the long tail and long, somewhat pointed wings that they hold in a dihedral. Now that you have an understanding of the different groups of raptors, you can move on to identifying them to individual species. I've included links below, including the full Lyco Birds raptor identification playlist, so check them out. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and subscribe. This is David Brown from Lyco Birds. Thanks for watching.